students, welcome to Mr. Sandwich Reads. I am, of course, Mr. Sandwich, and I realize I've been gone for a little bit. I've been on hiatus. Uh, it's, uh, well, we went into the holiday break, and then um, it's, and then things got very busy. Uh, it's been a hectic year, as I know you know. Um, but I am back, and also pretty soon, I want to thank, with the help of the TCSD Foundation, uh, I will be getting an upgrade in equipment. So very exciting. Uh, Mr. Sandwich is going to get an upgrade here. Um, I've got some mics coming. Um, and I think I'm going to get a better quality camera. If you've watched in the past, you know I've complained that there's like a, a little spot down in the corner. Um, so uh, in due time, uh, keep your eyes, keep, keep watching because uh, I'm going to get a, uh, a digital upgrade. It's going to be like watching Lord of the Rings pretty soon watching Mr. Sandwich. All right. Uh, and also please keep recommend recommending me. I'm trying to reach that hundred mark. Haven't gotten there yet. Um, but that is my next goal. I'll have to uh, put something on the line there. Uh, I made a fool of myself when I hit 50 and you can uh, bet I'm going to make a fool of myself again uh, when I hit 100. But uh, if you have any, any proposals you want to, you know, pie to the face or something, or um, uh, I said I would dab if I had 100, but if you have something in mind, I tried flossing. That was uh, ridiculous and uh, surprisingly harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, so anyways, I appreciate that. I wanted to start the year off if you're making any reading goals and I encourage you to. Uh, I wanted to start off by talking about Lexile. And this is something I've been talking about with my seventh and eighth graders, um, particularly older students. And I've worked at the high school level and really focused on Lexile. So um, and by the way, this is as much, this video is as much for parents and guardians as it is for students um, or adult students as well. Um, so Lexile is a measurement of reading ability, and that can go for a person like an individual has a Lexile um, or a book or a piece of written material has a Lexile. So you're trying to find a good match. Um, the thing to know, you don't really need to know, but ZPD, it sounds fancy if you want to be fancy, zone of proximal development. And that is like the range that you should be reading between if you're going to grow as an independent reader. Um, now, so for instance, if I have a 600 Lexile, you want to be 100, reading somewhere between 100 below or 50 above. So it's a range of 150, okay? So if I had a 600 Lexile, I'd be wanting to read books between 500 and 650 in order to grow as a as an independent reader. Maybe I'm really interested in a leveled book that is at uh, 900 and I really want to read it. Well, just know that you might need some help with that. You may want to uh, listen and follow along on Audible or Sora or um, Learning Ally. Uh, or you may want a teacher help with that or a parent guardian help. Uh, if you're reading above. So it just helps to know. Maybe it's really uh, uh, the the content, the subject material is, is something that's of interest. So you really want to read it. Um, maybe you want to read uh, graphic novels a lot can be lower because they're so visual and there's fewer words. Although Diary of a Wimpy Kid surprisingly has a higher lexile um, based on the, the lexicon, the word choice. Um, so it's okay to read below your Lexile. It's okay to read above your Lexile. But just know that if you're trying to train, and I always compare this to like uh, bodybuilding or, or just training, just, just exercise in general, that if I'm trying to um, work on my muscles, my muscle mass, if I take two pounds and I'm just lifting that, what's that going to do? Not really a whole lot of anything. I'm going to have to do that 100 times or more, 200 times before I'm really starting to feel the burn. Um, or if I take 300 pounds and I try to lift that, I'm not even going to get that off the ground. I might hurt myself and I'm just going to feel frustrated. So when you're reading either way below or way above your Lexile, your zone of proximal development, um, it can either be too easy and you're not quite growing as a reader, uh, testing your comprehension, pushing yourself a little bit further, or you're just up here getting frustrated. Okay. You're just not understanding it. So it helps to be in that range. So um, parents and guardians, especially if you're trying to find a, a good book for your uh, child to read, uh, maybe you're out shopping or you're at the library and a lot of libraries now allow in the search for Lexile. And, and so it can be helpful to know. We use um, iReady, a program called iReady. I've used Scholastic Read 180 in the past. So there's different programs that schools have that can identify uh, your student's Lexile uh, or your Lexile. Um, so students, keep that in mind. Lexile is something we want. Now, here I'm at Lexile.com, and I want to just show you how this website works. 
we can go. I it doesn't really matter. We're going to look under find just right books. Um, the, I might click on educator, but if you're at home doing this, you might click on um, parent guardian. Find the right book. OK, so click here. It takes you to this part of the website. Uh, Scholastic, for what it's worth, I'll just share this real quick, has something called Book Wizard, but it looks like this is um, getting tweaked right now. So if you're shopping on Scholastic, they are um, upgrading their, their Lexile search tool. All right, here you can put in, let's say I'm at a 720. I'm just going to say that my Lexile is at a 720. There you see we're 100 below and 50 above, okay? Um, let's see, can I add, I could put the grade level that way it might account for my, for the interest level. Um, let's see, can I add, I'm wondering if I can add search by interest or if it's gonna, let, let's just stick with Lexile right now. Let's just hit search and then we'll try to narrow from there. Uh, we could based on relevance. We go highest to lowest, but let's just say we're we're interested in this. Uh, can I filter? That's the question here. Um, adult directed, high low. Let me turn that off. So high low, what it means is that it's a high interest level, like it's maybe more mature content, um, but it's going to be at a lower level. So let's click on that because assume we're looking for seventh, eighth, or ninth grader, um, and they want to read about more mature things, but maybe it's at a difficult level. Um, let's see, new search with that filter. No, what's going on? Let me see if I can add search by interest. These are probably all the things a YouTuber should do ahead of time for a more fluid video. I guess you could just edit, I could just do quick cuts, right? Um, Nope, that didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I could go based on interest. So this was based on uh, mystery. Um, but then I can also look within the Lexile here. Now, if I click high, low. Oh, apply filters. That's what I did wrong last time. Yeah, so see, there was a there was a kind of a childish book there. And by hitting high, low, it's now giving me more mature content, but at a, at a lower, more readable level. All right. So that does show you that um goodreads.com this is something i also have my students use um and we could search a book so here i just got a couple of examples of, of fantasy uh wings of fire is a very popular series um so let's look up wings of fire all right it's the first one book one i'll click on that uh, and it does, you're going to notice that on Goodreads. Now, Goodreads is not a place to listen to books, but it is just a place to compile uh, a list of books you have read. It'll give you recommendations, books you want to read. Um, it's an app on my phone. And anytime I'm at the library or I'm out uh, window shopping at a bookstore, uh, I might add books. Or if somebody recommends a book to me, uh, I might add that to my Goodreads. All right, I'm going to search a couple of specific titles here. I've got Wings of Fire. This is book one in a very popular series. And also Tristan Strong punches a hole through the sky. So let's look these up. Let's see if these are on uh, Lexile.com. All right. So let's see. I'm not. There's book one. So 740, Okay. Um, I have students that are very interested in this series and, you know, this might be worth keeping in mind. Okay, is this below your Lexile? Is this right in that ZPD, that zone of proximal development that we want to be in? Um, or is it going to be a little bit above and maybe you want to listen along with it? We've got Tristan Strong. Let's try that out. Um, let's do a new search. And it's Tristan Scott. Yeah, there it is. High, low. So there you go. It's a high interest book. Um, but but fairly readable. 680. Um, so if you're curious, Lexile convert. I'm just going to put in Lexile conversion chart. Um, this is one that I use quite often. I know I'm just Googling here, not very professional. But um, if you're wondering, like, so 650 is roughly at the mid third to fourth grade level. Um, so if you're ever wondering, okay, what Lexile, you can measure Lexile, you could tell me my child's Lexile, but what does that mean? There are conversion charts to show you how, what grade level that would be at. Um, I would also just take the moment, if you're thinking about independent reading, I want to recommend uh, Goodreads, um, which is really just a place to compile 
um, you're you're distracting now. And then now I have to edit quite a bit. All right. Um. All right, that is Lexile.com. I wanted to show you that. I wanted to get you uh, and your students thinking about Lexile and next time you choose an independent reading book or maybe you haven't read in a while and you're just trying to get back into the groove. Um, look up the books Lexiles. If you have a pile of four or five books on your nightstand and you don't know where to begin, maybe start with the lower Lexile and just kind of get easier way back into your reading habits. So Lexile is a great way to know yourself as a reader and then also to get to know the books that you're going to be reading. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that's helpful. Um, keep reading and uh, keep healthy, keep safe and uh, take care of yourself.